I remember dating a girl that it got weird at dinner every time because she would always order a kid's meal no matter where we went, right? I can get that at like a fast food place, but we're sitting out at a nice place and she's like, the chicken fingers, please, yes. And I'm just like, you can order whatever you want. Oh no, I know, I'm fine. The chicken fingers, please. And the waiter's just looking at me like, mm, pedophile. I'm like, she's an adult, I swear. Show your ID, order something real, please. She's fine. Every single day she was ordering the just kids meals, kids meals, kids meals. I finally, I couldn't take it anymore. I couldn't, we broke up for something else, but that's completely unrelated. And you know how you'll date another person and the littlest thing will remind you of your ex? That happened with the next girl I went out with because she ordered the exact same thing that I ordered. I was like, what have I done? It didn't matter where we went, the other girl was just $4.99, drink included. I had the best thing ever! This one's prime rib, lobster, keep it coming. No! I tried to call her, but she kept ignoring my calls. It didn't work out. But another one, oof, this one was probably the worst dating experience that I ever had, because it caught me so off guard. I'll give, I'll let you know. I was on a double date with a girl and her sister, so I felt like everything was gonna go well. It did not at all. Dinner was fine. And I looked at her, I was like, what would you like to do now? She said, I want to go for ice cream. I was like, yes, I love ice cream. Let's do it. I'm ready for ice cream that doesn't have avocado for once, so let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so we get there, and the other couple orders, and I, I'm a gentleman, so I, what would you like to order? And she says, oh, none for me, I'm allergic. <laughs> then why are we here? What? This was your idea. She's like, oh, I just want everyone to have a good time. I was like, this is your death trap. This is not a good time. And so I didn't get any ice cream either, right? Because the gentleman half of me was like, Paul, that would be rude. And the bachelor side of me was like, Paul, you might kiss her. You don't want any of that on your lips. Don't order any ice cream, okay? No ice cream for Paul, I'm on board. So we go sit at a booth and the other couple, they get their ice cream, they sit down within 13 seconds. My date grabs a spoon, takes her sister ice cream and says, ooh, cookies and cream. Yeah, that's the appropriate response. <gasps> and that's what I did. I was like, what? You, you just said you, I deprived myself. You said you were allergic. What happened? Was I the worst date ever? Was she trying to kill herself while on the date with me? Was she expecting some sort of act of chivalry? Like I'm supposed to hit the spoon out of her hand? No, you're allergic. Because I did not do that. <laughs> and she's like, well, I'm allergic, but only kind of allergic. No, that's not a thing. You're either allergic or you're not. No one goes to Red Lobster who's allergic to shrimp thinking, mm, only a three or four for me. I don't want to shut off the esophagus completely. <laughs> no, that does not happen. And I, and I, could, I couldn't let it go. I was like, why, why do you think that you're allergic? She's like, well, when I have a lot, I just don't feel very good. <laughs> Lady, that's called being full. <laughs> It's not allergic, right? She, I can just see her, oh, I feel terrible after that gallon of ice cream. I, oh, I must be allergic. This never happens with pancakes. Oh. So we did not go out again, because apparently I'm allergic to stupid. I can't. I can't. Oh, thank you.